At times we all like making jokes about how the breakfast eating, beer loving, always on time, humorless German people are. There are many stereotypes about them. Some of them true based upon which German people you meet and also which part of the 357,000 square kilometers that you are in. In this video I will go over the most common stereotypes that there are about German people. I've lived in Germany for more than 20 years and I've been positively affected by the way of life here. So they must be doing something right? If you are new to Germany and thinking about moving or living here, this video will assist you to make a decision about Germany, its people and also its way of life in this part of the world. Either way, Germany is a wonderful place to live and the majority of the population are also very net too. Before we continue, I just wanted to quickly welcome all of my new subscribers that I've received since uploading my last video about Germany and its way of life. I'm always open for feedback, be it positive or negative, so feel free to continue expressing your opinions. So now that's all nicely out of the way, let's move on to talking about the first common stereotype about German people. Knowing when and where and how you greet Germans can sometimes be a real problem because you don't know, am I supposed to be formal, informal, Z, do, hello, hi, hey. It can be this totally confusing thing. So because we're talking about stereotypes, we want to really talk about when and how the Germans do or don't say hello to you. Sometimes it can sound a little bit rude because they don't greet you and other times they greet you when they don't even know you. So let's go over a couple of funny circumstances where I think uh, it's a bit strange that Germans will just suddenly say hello to you for no reasons. So let's talk about when you walk into a shop. Now, if there is just like, say, one lady or a man stood there making eye contact to you as you walk through the door, they will generally speak and say guten tag and ask you what they can do for you. But if they're like busy and there's like this bing when you walk through the door, they'll just sometimes completely ignore you. I know being British born and bred, when I've worked in small shops when I was 16, 17 years old or worked in bars and restaurants and so on, or sold cars, a whole bunch of different things. I've always been taught that as soon as that customer walks through the door, they need to be greeted and be the most important person. So Germans stereotypically they don't tend to do this. So I can actually take a real life example here is the other week because of all Brexit and so on I had to then make an appointment to change my UK driver's license over to a German driver's license. We'd made the appointment at the town already. I walk into the room. Obviously there's less amount of people today anyway because of the situation we've got. And uh, as you walk in it is super normal just to say good morning or hello when you walk through the door and people will do it they will literally greet every single person now when you live in smaller little villages um, and you walk down the road and someone else is coming towards you they will normally in germany also greet you now, even if you don't know them they will they will make some form of gesture to say hello good morning or something like that so sometimes germans can be super super friendly to people they really don't know but the funniest one that I really fun, I find super funny is when you walk into a lift and you go into a lift and there's people in there and uh, as you walk in they will literally say hello to you and it's kind of like this this unwritten rule that you should say hello to them and then once you are in the lift what you're supposed to do is you're like supposed to take all the contents of your pocket out and inspect everything or look on your phone like you're busy as anything for the next one minute and do not make any eye contact with other those other people because it's like kind of this unwritten rule that it's rude it's once you walk in you've got to be super super friendly say hello and then don't look at them whatsoever and when you're ready to leave the lift if they're still in there then you say cheers and leave them like you've had this great conversation with them already so the next stereotype is about a draft will kill you i'm not totally sure about this and uh, i thought i'd put it in this video to open it up to the audience to see what your opinion about it is now it's said that if you sit in a room and there is a small draft that your omo and your oppo your grandmother your grandfather will tell you that this is going to kill you and make sure you put a jumper on or close the window or something like that what is your experience with this? Now I've kind of had this in my life a couple of times but I don't quite think there is interlinked with this and especially in 2020 who, who knows is it the people being scared that they're going to get ill from the cold or generally getting ill? Let me know what your thoughts are about this. So the next stereotypical thing that German people do is once again I want to open it up to you because I want to know which insurances do you have? 
German people are very, very cautious about everything they do. They try to minimize the amount of risk that they have in different areas. So they can take out insurances for nearly everything and everywhere they go or any actions that they do. Even if they go to like their friend's place, they'll have insurance just in case they spill like a glass of red wine on the carpet or they accidentally break a laptop or they do something. You know, there is also like health insurance and car insurance, but that's normal stuff that is like legally you have to have. But there are additional insurances in Germany that you can take out to secure you in the event that something else happens. So let me know which insurances do you have and do you think it's a good idea, a bad idea and uh, would you recommend it to people coming over to Germany? Now I know most of these insurances aren't very expensive but what is your opinion as a German person um, to advise uh, foreigners that want to come to Germany and to live here? I'm really open the question up to you guys, you're the experts. Okay, the next one is open for debate. I know it. So what is the next stereotypical thing that German people do? It's punctuality. We had to talk about punctuality. It is a cliche that German people are punctual, so we're going to have to say it, aren't we? Now, there are many punctual people in Germany, but I'm kind of guessing there are punctual people in France, in Austria, in Spain, in Portugal, no matter where. And there are also people that are late. Now, I must admit, the train systems are very punctual in Germany compared to other places and the doctor's surgeries and so on tend to be pretty punctual or if you go to a dentist or something like that your meeting your time will normally be close to what it is you want but the main thing is though if you do come to Germany and you get invited to say like a party a dinner or whatever where they've given you a specific time really make sure that you go there at that time because if they say arrive at seven o'clock they mean arrive at seven o'clock not start getting ready or something like that and send them a whatsapp message that's just rude right make sure you be there at that one time yes we know that you might be a little bit late but punctuality is not a rude word and the german people really like it when you're on time let me know your feedback. I know there's going to be some comments. I really, really promote it. Please do it right now. This is the thing I'm ready for. German people, let me know what you think. So let's get down to the nitty and gritty now about the German stereotypes. Germany as a whole loves its recycling. So once you do come to Germany and you've got your accommodation and you want to then know where do I throw all my rubbish away, and you come downstairs and you see like this array of different colored bins that you can throw all your rubbish in with all their different various names and so on. Be warned, if you throw your rubbish in the wrong bin, the neighborhood watch will be out for you. The second you start trying to throw another piece of rubbish in the wrong type of bin, you'll hear all the bells and whistles going and the people will be running out at you telling you that you're putting the rubbish in the wrong bins. I can guarantee you that. The German neighborhood watch police are watching you. Be warned. The next stereotype about German people is a little bit sad actually because you can work for people for such a long time but those people don't tend to consider you like to be a friend, they're like a co-worker and at times they might not even call you by your first name or even know what your first name is or might not even know what your child's name is. But once you have got over this barrier of like informalness, German people are very good friends. Actually making friends in Germany can be a little bit difficult sometimes depending upon which region you are in. So I'm really interested to know how did you find this? So do you have many German friends or do you have more friends that are like foreigners and so on? What has your experience been like here in Germany? Because I don't really want to tar all Germans with the same brush here because all round I think German people are really friendly, especially, especially as a British person. So let me know what you think about this. So I really don't want to upset any young guys that are thinking about moving to Germany so they can meet their blonde hair, blue eyes, a gorgeous German woman because not every single woman has blonde hair, blue eyes and is a supermodel here in Germany. You will find a whole different variety of different women when you come to Germany. There are some stereotypes about how German people look, how they dress, what type of glasses they wear, how their hair is and so on. We're in 2020 and 2021 very soon and to say that the German people wear specific clothing, do specific things, is just complete rubbish. Uh, the, the people in Germany wear all different styles of clothing, have all different styles of haircuts and look completely different. We're in the center of Europe and without surprise, there has been a lot of people having children from different countries and different regimes and stuff like that 
in Germany. So to say that they're blonde hair, blue eyes is just wrong. It's not a stereotype that is at all true. There are, however, many stereotypes that are true. German people do love their bread. They have lots of bread as well. And as discussed already, they are normally pretty much on time and they love their private life and they love their also public life as well. Germany on a whole is a really lovely place. But when you do come here, you will not be seeing people wearing lederhosen and stuff like that. Some of these stereotypes are only for specific days of the year and also for specific places in Germany. It is really for you when you come here to work out for yourself what stereotypes are there in Germany and also in the town that you came to. Germans don't drink beer all day long in these big glasses. They will drink their beer, but they will predominantly sit at a table talking to their friends so it will need for you to come here to work these things out. We could go on a lot more to talk about different stereotypes that they only like drinking uh, bottled water and stuff like that. But I think I've said enough in this video already. If you have liked this video, then I would really, really appreciate a big thumbs up. If you haven't liked it, then give it a thumbs down. But please do me the favor, write in the comment section below why you didn't like it, because I want to know that I can enhance my videos so everyone likes them and they all get thumbs up rather than getting thumbs up and down and so on. I have made lots of other videos about my time in Germany. There'll be a link in the video description below for you to check out that playlist. Otherwise, I'm sure you'll see some pictures of me on the side or below about my next videos. So why not think about checking them out as well? If not, I really appreciate the fact that you're watching my video and uh, maybe I'll see you in the next video. If you want to subscribe to my channel, if you want to be also informed about when I upload new uh, videos, then why not think about tapping the red subscribe button and also then the notification bell. But you don't have to, just as long as you have enjoyed this video is what's really important to me. And also a final big thank you to everyone that is still watching at this one point. The video unfortunately now is over. Thank you very much for watching. There'll be a video on the screen for you to watch right now. And uh, that's it. And I hope that everyone had a fantastic Christmas. I hope everyone's safe. And also I wish you a, a happy new year and see you in January. Blondie, Curly Flies, see you soon. Bye-bye.